Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 5, and we're going to be talking about the reverse Flash and a lot of new news in regards to some future episodes that are coming up. We've got a load of articles to go through, and there are a lot of interviews. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Before we actually head into this, I actually did an interview with Danielle Nicolette who plays the seal on The Flash. You can check that out in the link in the description below. She gives away some new spoilers as in regards to later episodes in the fifth season of The Flash. And also she gives some updates on Joe and like where Joe West has been and you know everything else is going on in regards to Cicada. And it was just a really, really awesome chance to talk to Danielle who plays Cecile and I highly recommend you go check it out so that will be in the description below so check that out that's on discussing film so now we're gonna be going over some of the things that TV line has actually found out and then we'll move over to Entertainment Weekly because they've got some different pieces of information so speaking to TV line showrunner Todd Helbing revealed that we can expect a flash forward flashback episode and that it will explore how it all came to be which will be a lot of fun and I'm quoting here and so he says you'll slowly start to get the pieces of info you need but there will be probably one episode where we will explain how that all happened to get her to come back in time and this is all from Todd Helbing so let's break this down and then we'll move on to the EW article in a minute so yes they have officially confirmed we are getting a flash forward flashback episode sometime in the very near future and the theory going around is this could in fact be the two-part episode. I think I saw Paigey talk about something like if they went to the future and maybe we had a two-parter episode. I think that's a great idea and I do think you probably need a lot more time than just one episode to do all the backstory from what's happening with Nora and especially with the reverse flash and so everything will be explained as they've said and it's just great to have that confirmation. We are going to have a dedicated episode to finding out about Nora and Reverse Flash in the future. So let's move over to the Entertainment Weekly article where they actually got to interview Todd Helbing as well and there is a lot more to talk about in this article so this is how it goes. This is from Entertainment Weekly. First, is this the version of Thorn that escaped at the end of Crisis on Earth X? Todd Helbing says, yeah. So he escaped from Crisis and then at some point went to the future and got put up in Iron Heights. So we're going to be breaking it down bit by bit. So let's break this bit down. So yes, they've confirmed this is the Crisis on Earth X reverse flash. We don't know how long he's been free until we got captured and put into Iron Heights. But yes, he's confirmed it is that same version and he's probably just been there for a, quite a long time and I'm guessing he's done some other things in regards to the future. So after Crisis, supposedly he runs to the future rather than running elsewhere. Maybe he just keeps on bouncing from place to place but he's finally put into Iron Heights. We don't know how long for though. Moving on to the next section, this is what Todd Helbing says, some of the stuff I want everybody to get in the moment but I would say that he has been instructing her in different ways you'll get to see the relationship moving forward in the back half of the season and then EW says how would you describe their relationship I would describe it as he's her coach so this is breaking news so yes as we've been theorizing about Eobard Thorne is in fact her coach of sorts in that you really get to see this relationship moving forward in the back half of the season as he's confirmed being an instructor being a coach and teaching her how to use her powers how to time travel do it specifically so she doesn't have the time wraiths on her because if you would noticed no time wraiths have actually come for Nora and no time wraiths actually normally do come for reverse flash when he's at his best moments and so he's obviously taught her how to avoid it and how to change things so minimally that obviously can influence the future because Nora had that message where it said the timeline is malleable so they are changing the timeline they're not trying to not change anything they're trying to change it but ever so slightly and precisely and that's where he's going to come in to coach her in regard so now moving on to the next question so EW says one of the questions we've had all season is how Nora learned to use her speed is this scene supposed to answer that question in episode 10, 
we give the audience the information as to how they're working together so we don't have to wait long at all till we get a lot of these answers and so in the mid-season premiere in episode 10 we're going to be given the information as to how and why they are working together so i'm sure that will detail a few flashbacks but then we will fully delve into that future stuff but actually flashback for nora and a flashback for eobard thorn because it's in the future for us but not for them that's in the past for them and we will find out as to how eobard properly taught her and how they met for the first time essentially so look forward to that in the mid-season premiere and so moving on to the next bit so this is the question that ew posed to todd again and so it goes like this at the beginning of the season i saw a theory that thorn was behind nora's arrival were you aware people started guessing that so early on and if so did that surprise you so todd says no i think the audience is pretty smart yes we are in the first half of the season, there's a lot of little Thorn references. Even in the premiere when Barry is recounting the first Speed Force speech that he got from Thorn, and we flash to him, that being Eobard Thorn, I wasn't really surprised, but I was surprised by one section about what I read. You know, it's one of those things that just because people in the audience aren't in the writer's room, our version is always different and it's just depending on the degrees of difference that they get. I think there are parts of it that people cue into every season, but it's kind of impossible for somebody to nail it exactly right. So this really harks to what we do as videos, as YouTubers talking about DCTV, like, you know, Pagey, Boba Talks, Emergency Awesome, or Eric's Reloaded, and myself, and many other people out there who are doing these videos. This sort of just calls to us, like, the fact that, yes, we make these theory videos, but they aren't 100%, and you shouldn't really take what we're saying utterly as fact, and I feel like some people actually do take it as fact, but it's like, we can get it right to a degree, we can theorize the best that we can, but it's kind of impossible, as Todd says, to guess every single thing as to what the writers are planning and what they're going to do in the show. So I thought I would include this part of the interview because it's just very interesting. The fact that he knows a lot of us guess a lot of these plot points, but we can't get it exactly right. And I have to agree with that. We don't get it exactly right. But that was just really interesting. I thought I would add that in. Now, and so the next question from EW is, was Cicada part of Thorne's plan all along? There's also that moment of recognition where Nora mentions Cicada when she and Barry return to the flashback episode. So Todd says, let me see how much of this I can answer. Cicada always existed. But like we explained, not that version of Cicada. So the reason for that is going to play into the back half of the season. So essentially what he's getting at here is that in regards to Thorne's plan and how, and how Cicada plays into this, he confirms that the reason for how that is playing, why Nora is changing the timeline, why it's a different version of Cicada will be explained and will play into the back half of the season. That's where we will get answers. So now we move on, and so Team Flash failed to defeat Cicada in the episode. How does this latest confrontation affect Cicada's plan for the rest of the season? Todd says, now he's on the hunt, and they know who he is. CCPD is brought into the fold, so he's a wanted man. I'll just say that this is sort of our act two. As you start to understand more of the Thorn, relationship with Nora, you're going to see how everything starts to play out with Cicada. He's really under the gun here, so his time to do what he wants is running out. So he actually links it back into Thorn and Nora and their relationship, and as we start to actually understand more, you're going to see exactly how everything starts to play out with Cicada. So from this we can infer that yes, Thorn's plan in the future has something to do with Cicada and what Nora is doing has a correlation of sorts but it remains to be seen as to what that's going to be but earlier in the season they did say they're going to sort of structure in a three-act structure for the whole season and how Cicada's plans actually go along and you know how Eobard Thorn comes into it so Cicada for the first part you know, he's very subtle, and now the second part, he's on the hunt, and we'll find out what he's doing in that third act of the season. And so the final thing that I want to talk about is this last question. So, EW says, Sherlock is getting closer to figuring out what's going on with Nora. 
can you tease what to expect from that part of the story? So this is what Todd says. From the first episode that he appeared, he knew that something was wrong with her story. And just being a detective, he looks at everything as a mystery. He's starting to slowly put these pieces together. He's going to run into a couple of roadblocks. One episode that I'm really excited about is you get to see one of his wives coming back, which is really fun. Everything is a mystery to him, including love. So he's trying to solve all of this, but then he starts to slowly decipher what is what it is about Nora's story that doesn't make sense and how these pieces are starting to fit together and then it's all going to come to a head. So it seemingly it seems like Todd is revealing to us that essentially Sherlock is going to be really key in finding out what's happening to Nora because we don't know as to how far Team Flash will actually know about what Nora's doing with Eobard by, by next episode or the next few episodes, so Sherlock's going to play a major part essentially, and we're going to see one of his ex-wives, which is just going to be a fun part of it. And so that is it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and also subscribe and check out my film podcast channel. We did an Aquaman review earlier this week that will be in the description below also there's a giveaway going on all you need to do is go to the description below and follow the details as to how to enter that and yeah so i'll see you guys later goodbye